Hi everyone. Today I'm going to show you how you can isolate colors in an object in your photos using Snapseed. The effect looks pretty cool, and it's great for Instagram and other social media networks. With this effect, you can make your object pop in the photo, and you can do it with anything. Cars, people, buildings, animals, and so on. So let's start. The first thing we need to do is import our photo in Snapseed. I have a beautiful photo that I've downloaded from Pexels.com. I'll leave a download link in the description. And I want my car to remain red, while the rest of the photo is black and white. So we need to apply the black and white filter first. So go into the toolbar and find it. We have a couple of choices here, like a contrast, bright, dark, film and a darkened sky look. I'm going to choose the neutral one for my photo. And now let's select the tint of the filter. We have a red, orange, yellow, green and blue tint. It really changes the way your filter looks, it can pop some colors and have a nice looking effect. So I'm going to select a green one for me. And after that, if you want to, you can adjust the brightness and contrast options. And also add a grain so the photo can look more vintage. And when I am happy with the edits, I'll delete the filter from the car. And we do this with the brush tool. So click on this button on the top, find the view edits button and find the black and white layer. And click on the brush tool. Now we need to start brushing over the car in order to delete the filter. And you need to be precise with this around the edges, because we don't want any color leaking or other stuff. So I'm going to speed up this brushing part. And when we are finished with the selection, we can make corrections if we made the mistake. So just set the value of the brush from 0 to 100. And just brush off the color leak or if you missed some spot. And I think I did a pretty good job with the selection. So I'm going to save my edits. And the last step is to do some fine tuning of the image. So I'm going to play around with the brightness, contrast, saturation, highlights, shadows and so on in order to make some minor adjustments. and I'm finished with my edits, you can see the difference that we've made. The car remained red, and the rest of the photo is black and white. Very cool effect. 
And you can do this with a couple of objects in the photo simultaneously. So if this video was helpful, you can check out the other tutorials on the channel, and leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.